Well, boys and girls, we have had a fantastic time in the book of Acts, haven't we? We've learned all about the saviour of the world, the Lord Jesus, and we've learned what the gospel is, haven't we? His life, he's the king. His death, he's the saviour. His resurrection, he's reigning. Now, we've seen all along that the gospel is going to get to the ends of the earth. And in the second part of um, Acts, Paul is kind of the big star after Jesus, of course. And he is going to get to Rome. Now, there's so many things that have tried to stop him. People have tried to stop him. They've been really nasty to him. And today we're going to learn two things that try and stop him. First one is a storm. He's on a boat. I don't know if you've ever been on a boat and there's been a real storm. I remember when I was coming back from France one, me and my friend, and I felt fine. But he was in the toilet the whole journey being sick. Ah. Now, Paul is on a boat and he's on it for days and days and days. And there is a storm. And all the sailors think that they're going to die. They start praying to their false gods and they, they're so scared. They throw everything off. But all along, Paul says, no, no, no. God has promised me that I'm going to get to Rome. God has promised that the gospel is going to get to the ends of the earth. So he all along prayed for the sailors and he kept telling them, don't worry. This ship will not break up and all of you will be saved. And you know what? Every single one of them were. A ship, a storm, couldn't stop Paul getting to Rome. Nothing's going to stop the gospel getting to the end of the earth. And then, when he finally got off the boat, he arrived in a place called Malta. Don't know if any of you have ever been on a holiday in Malta. He got off and the people there thought, look, these people are cold, these people are wet. So we'll make a little bonfire. So they made a little bonfire. But inside the bonfire was a snake. And when it started heating up, the viper came right out of the fire. And then it saw Paul and it bit him. Now all the people thought, Paul must be a really, really nasty man, even a murderer. That's why he's being bitten by the snake. And then they watched Paul, and they thought Paul was going to die. But because God was with him, Paul didn't die. And when, when he didn't die, they all thought, oh, he must be God, so they worshipped him. That's really stupid. One minute he's a murderer, the next minute he's God. That's really stupid. But, you know, boys and girls, a storm or a snake could not stop Paul getting to Rome. Boys and girls, nothing, nothing. Nothing, nothing is going to stop God's promise being fulfilled. Jesus, his life, he's the king. His death, he's the saviour. His resurrection, he's reigning. Nothing, no one, storm or snake, is going to stop the gospel getting to the ends of 